uh, you know software uh, development and especially when you are uh, uh, working in uh, uh, VPN technologies or any sort of tunneling and uh, you know things like that. Uh, time to time I have covered various episodes on uh, uh, various uh, different you know interfaces like this virtual interfaces or virtual ports in you know Linux kernel such as TANTAP interfaces and uh, as well as this dummy interface and stuff. So which you can anyway google and uh, uh, search for those episodes it's quite easy you can uh, do say dummy interface the Linux channel and uh, you may get those video episodes which I may you know attach in this video description and as well as this you know time tap interface which I covered somewhat extensively and I have also done some sample code and stuff. So now comes the question that I do uh, still get some mails uh, from uh, viewers and even recently I got a mail <laughs> and about uh, uh, something related to this you know virtual interfaces. So I thought uh, let me cover one aspect of it uh, and also as a part of uh, uh, you know not just network software developer but a network software developer who is uh, working with kernel space and stuff because these virtual interfaces are created by the kernel it is not something happens in the user space uh, kernel uh, as you develop a driver let it be a physical driver or a virtual uh, network port driver or network interface driver it has almost the same thing the objective is to create an interface which will emulate like any other interface any other physical interface and you get various features out of it and in the path of uh, in the network uh, you know uh, packet flow you do some operation on top of the packet so in the case of vpn uh, protocols of, uh, or vpn technologies or vpn solutions uh, different VPN solutions adopt a different method. Some VPN uh, solutions uh, use uh, existing, uh, you know, virtual interface uh, framework. Say, for instance, a V10 project, uh, it uses the TANTAP interfaces. Say, for example, you take this, you know, V10 project. You can see here, uh, V10 uh, is a part of, you know, Source4.net. Uh, they hosted there it's a one of the old projects and you can see there it's not much active these days but uh, having said uh, the code works very fine uh, it is uh, somewhere around 1999 to 2016 as you can see the timeline but having said that you can still install in a Linux system and you can still uh, get uh, the written functionality having said uh, I have worked on this uh, quite extensively long ago for a customer and I had faced various issues uh, such as the reliability of the tunnel and the various aspects of you know uh, this you know uh, VPN technology okay so that's what it is so as you can see there they are mentioned in the link so that it uses this uh, tantap driver and stuff which is of course which correlates if you open the kernel source you will find uh, in the drivers in the network you navigate right net and uh, you should able to find uh, the v10 i mean sorry the you know uh, tan tap drivers you can see the tan and tap it is not inside any uh, folder or directory it is directly over inside this drivers net and apart from that uh, the one which i covered about the dummy interface you can see there it is over here and the most common interface which we all know is this loopback interface which is you know uh, which is over here you can see that it is in drivers net so next comes there are also certain protocols uh, i mean certain uh, vpn uh, technologies say for instance uh, i'm currently using uh, wireguard uh, uh, as a part of my sd band uh, infrastructure and you can see there i have even uh, fired up my edge uh, which is a small uh, vm edge you can see there if i do a misconfig and i can get this you know wireguard interface and uh, this is not a tantap interface this itself is part of you know wireguard protocol interface so this interface is provided by the wireguard stack which is again a part of uh, linux kernel network uh, you know driver set you can see there drivers and you should able to see this wireguard over here so if you click here 
you should get the source code of the same and you should get the source code of that interface initialization instance. So as a part of this, it is providing this interface and uh, you know WireGuard if you use WireGuard if you use WireGuard they have their own native virtual uh, interface say for example you go here you can see that so what we can conclude is they have their own native uh, virtual interface which it is not depending on existing technologies like, such as Tanta okay so we can also do a google search say, say for example vpn DNF, something like that and we can see if any um, uh, uh, you know uh, thing mentioned in uh, the wikipedia page about the same okay so, so i'm not sure uh, let's just open this and see any uh, popular open source you know solutions other than uh, what i discussed this uh, v10 and wirecard and we can see if there is any mention okay so you can come down uh, otherwise we can provide open source vpn wikipedia and uh, we see if there is a list of them and of course is this uh, even uh, this open vpn uh, which is you know quite popular then there is this IP set and stuff like that so in the case of open vpn uh, you can see that yeah as you can see uh, in their uh, part of the C also they have provided other you know vpn technologies you have this open connect and stuff like that yes tunnel and uh, you know including this wireguard as well so if you are a kernel uh, stack developer and if you are getting into this quite an advanced network kernel programmer as well as network stack developer and if you are getting over it and if you are somewhat new to vpn technologies i recommend you to do a study of the same and if you are instructed to i mean if you are inspired to do something quite unique and new based on any existing tunnel uh, port framework uh, by leveraging tantap or something uh, you can check this uh, v10 and other projects and in the case of WireGuard, they have their own approach they have their own stack and in the case of open vpn i need to check what kind of uh, tunnel interfaces it can use okay. i hardly uh, seen it functional uh, i never used much you know so hence i'm not much uh, you know aware of open vpn so open vpn users uh, open vpn port uh, what i'm looking for is this uh, you know network interfaces not the you know udp tcp ports okay so let's see what is the port it uses so let's say open vpn if constant and we see if we can get any clue okay so you can see there this is an open vpn connection test by some random port so we can go here and by the look of it we can conclude that it again uses uh, the tantap framework you can see there and open uh, open vpn client again this you know tantap so one can conclude somewhat with this that open vpn may use you know the tantap uh, you know virtual interface you know as it's one of the building blocks or framework of its you know protocol actually so in the case of wireguard as i said wireguard as its own uh, uh, native uh, virtual interface framework which it uses and uh, so uh, you know if you are architecting uh, have a look of these things so it is not a video uh, I mean I want to uh, mention one thing that this is not a video that you want to just configure some open VPN or you know uh, WireGuard or uh, VTurn or something like this. this is not a video this is meant for someone who is a very advanced level developer uh, you know who is also into kernel space development who is somewhat new to kernel space development know few things but want to implement or you know kind of confused then uh, get a fundamental understanding that there are various VPN technologies and uh, some are the 
you know uh, you know some are uh, you know having their own native virtual interface framework to do that vpn stuff and some leverages like that and if you ask me if you if i say that uh, even my own uh, uh, the current uh, toffee project what i do i leverage the tantap uh, framework and then i get the packets in the user space and i leverage the tantap framework to get the packets in the user space of course i can do some raw sockets and all but it's, it has its own uh, challenges and uh, stuff which i don't want to go much in depth but i just want the packets from kernel space delivered to the user space so that i can deal with them in the user space so i do the packet processing in the user space hence i use tantap interface along with in, in conjunction with uh, bridge okay uh, linux bridge and then i get the packets in the user space but in the case of wireguard they do the packet processing or uh, vpn uh, in the kernel space itself and they have that you know sort of a driver uh, you know virtual port driver in the kernel uh, you know drivers source code so this is what it is hence go through these aspects by the way i had gone through the wireguard uh, uh, kernel source i understood few aspects i'm still in the process of uh, getting that full big picture and uh, one of the most advantageous uh, aspects of wireguard which most agreed even linux torvalds agreed is it's very lightweight uh, very simple and uh, very less number of lines of code and lot less complex than compared to open vpn and one another thing i found uh, with my uh, production experience is wireguard is extremely lightweight extremely fast and reliable and a uh, lot more less uh, overhead i'm not saying the cpu overhead i'm saying the network overhead network processing overhead than uh, the open vpn hence you get fantastic uh, you know performance in your vpn deployments and in case uh, like me if you incorporate in any uh, large projects like sd wan and stuff you will definitely get some advantages uh, with you know wireguard so hope this video is useful and insightful uh, you know you could be in touch with me via mail or you know post your small queries in youtube comments thanks a lot for joining me stay tuned have a nice day bye bye